uh, can I administer the nasal vaccine to myself? This seems like a very basic question, but when you talk about a nasal vaccine, you know, the imaging that comes in your head is that I can go ahead and use it uh, like how we use nasal spray when we have a cold, that I can actually administer it to myself. Is that the case? Uh, that is not the case. Uh, uh, even though it's easy to administer, this will be only available through the COVID platform and in designated private and government hospitals and institutions which are on the COVID platform. So you will have to go to that location and get the dose. Of course, the administration is easy. Uh, uh, also remember, this has to be stored between 2 to 8 degrees uh, centigrade, which is uh, the normal refrigerator temperature and has to be used once opened and brought out of the re refrigerator within six hours. And during that time also in between, it has to be kept stored at that temperature. So the answer to, to your question is no. Uh, someone who wants it cannot administer it himself or herself. Uh, it would need to be taken at a designated spot. Also, you know, Maksha, I just want to come at this point in time. Yeah. For a vaccine like, uh, like this one, which is a nasal one, uh, you have to administer it right. It just can't be done carelessly also. Uh, it, the purpose is going to be defeated if the person just happens to swallow the vaccine because then it's going to go to the stomach and not reach where it has to essentially. Hmm. The angle of the head has to be in a particular direction. I did speak to somebody uh, from Bharat Biotech when this vaccine was actually first approved by the CDSCO and we all thought that this is going to be like any other nasal spray you know, that we use often say if you have a blocked nose or something. Very true. But that's not the way it's going to be done. The angle of the head has to be done in such a way that it goes right where it has to. That's the nasal passage and not your stomach. Okay, that's an important point. So you have to go to a hospital. Don't think you can buy it, uh, you know, at a pharmacy across the counter and then head home and do it yourself. The third question I'd like to ask Dr. Mahajan is, does this nasal vaccine actually provide immunity long term? There are a lot of questions about whether, you know, this has to be done every few months. How does it work? Is it the same as a normal vaccine? Uh, well, I think, uh, as has been uh, pointed out by your, uh, uh, you know, health editor as well, uh, details uh, about this vaccine we still don't know but what we do believe is that yes it will provide long-term immunity uh, just as the other vaccines have provided uh, but the the advantage of this vaccine is that it's going to provide a very broad spectrum uh, uh, you know immunity and also local immunity which is in the nasal passages itself because of which the rate of infection of someone who's taken this uh, vaccine will be low as well as the rate of transmission even transmission as we know happens through the nasal passages and through the air uh, so even that will be lower so in that sense this could be more effective uh, than uh, the other vaccines which are given intramuscularly uh, 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 and again to answer your question yes this does provide broad spectrum and, uh, uh, immunity. The length or how many months or years it will, that we still have to get the data and we will know over time. Dr. Mahajan, fourth question on my list, uh, and this is one that a lot of people are asking. Will I suffer any side effects after getting a nasal vaccine? And not just uh, in the short term of 24 hours, etc., but in the long term as well. See, uh, from the trials that, that have been conducted, it is known to be safe, it is known to be efficacious, they, there are known to be very, very rare serious side effects. Uh, the main side effects are those that are seen with any vaccine, which is fever, headache, some, uh, you know, watering of the nose. Those are the ones that are really uh, there and that too are going to be short term. We do not know of any long-term side effect. 